Right, we're just going to take a, a look now at using um, EID readers to do lambing routines in the shed. Um, for most of us wanting to use EID as a management tool, lambing is the big event of the year. It's when we're going to tag the lambs up, link the lambs to their mothers. We can then work out who the sire is. Um, we want to know that the animal's date of birth. And, and if we can, we might want to go on and weigh it and we might want to record breeding traits, things like lamb vigour or milk um, availability off the mother. So, so lambing's the big event of the year with an EID reader. And you can only really do this with, with um, either a Scion or one of the Agrident APR 500s. Stick readers just don't do the job uh, unless you send the EID to a, a computer or something. The Scions, though, lend it are really, really useful. And they're very, very good at this because we've got the information about the use on the reader. We know who they are. We can find them manually or we can use the EID reading capability to, to actually scan the use tag and therefore identify her that way. The routines for lambing are also then configurable. So you can do a basic lambing routine which just scans the U, scans the lambs, links the two together. Or you can do a much more sophisticated one where you actually get to record breeding traits about the U and breeding trait about the lamb or lambs. And we can obviously record stillborns, prolapses and abortions in the same um, routines. So the Scions are very, very good at this. They have one major advantage is that we can actually check the actual tag numbers of the use. The other simpler readers, the APR 500s, well they're data collectors. So there's no checking really as to what you're doing, but they still create a very quick and efficient lambing routine as we'll see. Okay, we're now going to do a, a, a lambing routine with uh, a few more options in it. And these things are optional. So they, they include breeding traits and weighing the lamb. So we're going to have breeding traits for the ewe, and then we're going to have a breeding trait for the lamb. And like I say, all this is configurable, so you get to check, decide exactly what you want to do. Start the lambing routine, just click your lambing button. First question is read the ewe, so click to read. Yeah, and then wave and read the ewe. We've got the ewe's number up there. We just, once we're happy, we just click OK to continue. Again, the, the first option is what's the event. So we're into birth of lamb, so we can uh, hit number one. Yeah, and click OK. You can actually tap the screen, but we'll click on the keyboard's easier. We've now got in a screen that lets us confirm and select a sire. So if we, if, if, we, if we want to know the sire, we can actually have a look at this screen and then pick one. So in this case, the sire is actually ram number two on the list, so I'll click number two and then click OK to continue. How old is your next question? So how, how old are the lambs? This one was born yesterday, so it's, it's one day old. Enter one, click OK. We then come on to the next question, which is birth assistance. Now, birth assistance is default in, in the software, so you always get this, asked this question. Did we help her? In this case, no, we didn't. So we're just pressing the top button there for no assistance. And then we get the first of our breeding traits. Now, breeding traits are configurable. This breeding trait is mothering instinct, and we've got the choice of very good, okay, or bad. And she, she was okay. I wouldn't say she was wonderful, so we'll say she was two. She's okay. Yeah, and then we click OK. We then go on to our lambs. So th this section gets repeated per lamb. So the first thing is, what is the lamb? The lamb is OK, therefore we're going to tag it. If it was stillborn, I can select stillborn. Died untagged if it had died after, after birth, but before tagging. So here we go, lamb OK. And we get prompted then to either enter the tag manually or scan the tag. So we click scan, and then we go and read the tag. Now in here, you've just got to be careful. I've, re I've read my lamb, but you have got to be careful. You don't just catch the use tag. Obviously, if you're in a small pen, you could do that. And if you do that, the, the system will display a message telling you that you've actually scanned the U. So once we've got the tag number in there, we're happy with that. We click OK. We get to confirm its sex, so it's a little ram. Yeah, we get to confirm its breed, so it's a Jacob. Click OK. And then we get the lamb breeding traits. So in here, we've actually got a breeding trait for lamb vigor, and we've got good, bad, or average. Now, I think this one was more or less average. He, he wasn't exactly springing to his feet. So we'll say he's a number three and he's average. Click OK. We get a, the next screen, which is OK. We've got the, the system set up to weigh our lambs at birth. So all we would do here is enter, enter the weight. But of course, we don't know what it is. So uh, we're now going to ask uh, my assistant to uh, pop in. And we're going to just weigh the lamb. Right, we're going to weigh, weigh our lamb here. 
Um, for us, weighing, and for most people, weighing at birth is, is quite a difficult thing to do, but it is quite important because it, it, it sets the lamb up and we know exactly then from his daily life weight gain what he's going to be later on. So, this little fella's going in the bag that we got prepared here. There we go. And then we've just got a handheld scale that we just hook on and we can lift up and weigh him. So he, he's quite good. Get off, Mum. Thank you. Yeah. He's quite good. He's, he's in at about the 5.7. Yeah. So that's what we want to know. 5.7 kilos. We'll put him down, put him back to his mum, and he'll be happy. Okay, so once we've weighed our lamb, and you know the weight, all we've got to do is enter the weight in here. So in this case, this one was 5.7. So we got five. The point's a little bit awkward because you have to press the shift key there to get the put decimal point in. So we, we, we've got the decimal point in there, yeah? Uh, and then we can just press zero again, it'll go back to zero, and then I can go and put the seven in. So we're on to 5.7. We've got the option of grading him. So if I want to say you know, whether I think he's a sort of a one or a two or a three, I can say, yeah, okay, he's good, he's got a good grade there. And that's a bit like a body condition score that we'd use if we were putting the room in for, for, for use, really. Uh, and once we've got the weight in, all we do is we click the OK button, comes up with a message saying the weight's been saved, click OK, and then we're into options for lamb number two. And again, th this one's only a single, so we've got no, op no lamb two, so all we need to do is press no lamb up there. If there was a lamb two, we go into lamb OK, and we simply go around that little routine again of confirming the sex, the breed, the breeding traits, and the weighing. So no more lambs. We get a final confirmation screen just to make sure we're happy, and we click OK. And that's the end of the complicated routine with breeding traits. Right, back in the office, all we're looking to do really is just plug the sign into its docking station, go to our Farm IT management software and just synchronise the two up. And the synchronisation process will import all my lambing records that I've just made outside and any sheep setups I've done and then create the records on my computer and then put all those records back on the sign so if I go back outside I can go and look at the lamb and get all its history about what it's done. So, here we are, we've got the sign in its docking station, we just press it down to make sure it's in, nice and firm there. This is our farm management console. Up here we have an icon for the mobile, so we open that up. The most important thing is that it actually says the mobile device is Farm IT Mobile, which is the device name of the Scion. And then all we have to do at this point in time is hit the real big button in the middle that says synchronise. What we do is click synchronise, we sit back and have a cup of tea. This will take us about, well we'll see, probably about 30, 40 seconds, and then it'll tell me that it's complete, job's been done, and all my lambing records are created down the side. There we go, it's created its stuff. It starts putting it all back on the scion, and any minute now, it'll say that it's done. There we go, synchronization complete. We can close that down. We get a nice little report, which is really just for me and the report guys to say, yes, okay, it's done what we want. But if we scroll down the report here, we'll see down, down here that we've gone and got some lambing records and that we've created our lambs on this line here. You can see the lamb that we've created. Yeah. And then we can close that down. In here, we can go and find our lamb that we've just made, which was number 153, which was the little star out there. And I think he weighed, uh, we should have a weight record for him saying that he weighs 5.7 kilos. There's his little weight record. So everything that we did outside is now created on the main computer software all automatically for us. We can sit back, have a cup of tea, and if we really want to go next, we'd go to sheep, come down to analysis, lambing analysis, pick the year, which is this year, yeah, and then we get all the information about what all my sheep have done this year and who's had what and everything there and I can click on my stats button and I can get all my little stats up there telling me how many lambs have been born, who they've been born to, how many were stillborns I had, how many prolapses I had and hopefully how many live lambs I've got left with to turn out and put in the field. And that's all there is to do it. The Scion is now ready to go back, up, back outside. It says on here it's received an update. We just click OK to that. Yeah. Normally we just come out of the sheep menu and go back in but now we're out ready to go back outside and do some more lambing records.